On the 4th of July, 1806, we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. Was a wonderful craft, she was rigged for and aft, and oh, how the wild winds drove her. She'd got several blasts, she had 27 masts, and we called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bales of the best Sligo rags, we had two million barrels of stones. We had three million sides of old blind horses' hides. We had four million barrels of bones. We had five million hogs. We had six million dogs. And seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million bales of old nanny goat's tails in the hold of the Irish Rover. Mickey Coot, who played hard on his flute when the ladies lined up for his set. He was tooting with skill for each sparkling quadrille, though the dancers were fluttered and bent. With his sparks, with he talk, he was cock of the walk as he rolled the dames under and over. They all knew. At a glance when he took off his pants And he sailed in the Irish Rover There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee There was Hogan from County Tyrone There was Jimmy McGurk who was scared stiff of work And a man from Westmeath called Malone there was Slugger O'Toole, who was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McCann, from the banks of the band, was the skipper of the Irish Rover. lost its way in a fog and that whale of a crew was reduced down to two just myself and the captain's old dog then the ship struck a rock oh lord what a shock the bulkhead was turned right over turned nine times around and the poor old dog was drowned i'm the last of the irish rover